Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how we can set up one of my favorite apps on the iPad. That app is Touchable. Touchable is available on the Apple App Store, of course. It's one of the bit more expensive applications, but really, I think it is very much worth it, especially if you love Ableton like I do. There's a lot to talk about here, so let's leap right into it. You'll want to visit touchable.com, that's touch-able.com, A-B-L-E, and that's where you're going to get a couple of the files that you need to get rolling with Touchable. From the Touchable site, you're going to need to get the Touchable server installer, and today I'm going to be talking about how to set this up in Windows. I will do a video for how to set up in Mac as well. For now, we're just going to talk about Windows. Uh, so in this case with Windows, grab the latest Windows installer for Touchable. And the other application you're going to want to grab is going to be from another site. You can get a link to that from the guides section uh, of touchable.com where you can view a guide on a text guide on setting up the application. Uh, the site that you're going to visit is midiox.com. I'm going to get MIDI Yoke. MIDI Yoke is a very classic program uh, in the digital audio world. It's been around for a long time. It allows for virtual MIDI routing uh, in your operating system. So think of MIDI Yoke as routing physical cables between physical pieces of MIDI gear in your studio, except we're going to do it using software on our computer. And once you've got those two pieces of software, you're going to be pretty much set and ready to go going to need to install both of these. Now, there's a quick note that I should make, which is that I am on Windows 7, and a lot of you may be on 7 or Vista, uh, and a good number of you will probably be on Windows XP. There is a Windows XP installer for MIDI Yoke. You can get that on the website. And uh, there is not, however, a Windows 7 or Vista installer for MIDI Yoke. However, I simply ran the latest Windows NT installer, and that installed just fine. Um, you may want to check back at the site because that's liable to change at some point or another, but at the time I'm making this video, there's only an NT installer for MIDI Yoke. So make a note of that, um, just because you don't want to pull your hair out looking for a 7 installer. Okay. Once you've got these two applications, you need to get yourself started. You're going to want to go ahead and first double click on the Touchable Server Installer. This is going to run the Server Installer application. This is going to simply ask you a few questions where you would like to install the server and how you can simply walk through this installation. You really don't need to configure this in any way, so you can simply click on Next and be done with the installer. Once you've installed the Touchable server, you need to install MIDI Yoke. You'll want to simply open up MIDI Yoke and let it run and install. Again, you're not really going to have to do too much configuration to this application. Uh, you can see it's saying right now, repair or remove on my system because I have it installed. But in your case, you'll want to just simply walk through the installation to get MIDI Yoke installed and when you have installed MIDI Yoke, you will want to reboot your computer. After you've rebooted your computer and you know that both of these applications are set up, you want to launch the Touchable server. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the Touchable server right down here. The Touchable server is going to allow us to communicate between the iPad and our computer. Now there's one other thing that I'm going to make note of while the Touchable server is loading here. And that is that we need the IP address for the computer that we have Ableton installed on that we're going to be working with. There's a lot of different ways to get your IP address on your computer, but I'm going to show you guys a tried and true tested way to get the IP address. Click on the start button in whether this be Windows XP, Vista, 7, so on and so forth. Click on the start button and down here in Vista and 7, this is the run slash search box. In Windows XP, this is equivalent to simply selecting run from the start menu. And now, inside of this box, simply type CMD. If you're on Windows XP, just simply type CMD into the, into the Run dialog box, which opens up. Hit Enter, and this is going to open the command prompt. Now, don't be scared. You're not going to break anything by having the command prompt open. 
The command prompt is where we can do a number of different things, but all that we're going to do here is find the IP address of the computer that we're on. To do this, simply type IP config. One word, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. Hit enter. This is going to give you a lot of different data. You really don't need much of this. The only thing that you really need to pay attention to is the IPv4 address. Take a look at that address. Mine is 192.168.1.106. I'm going to write that down or remember it. Make sure that you hang on to it because later on, you're going to enter that IP into the Touchable app on the iPad in order to cause the app to talk to the Touchable server in your computer. When you've got a note of that IP address, just simply close up the command prompt. Now we're back in the Touchable server. This is finished loading up and you really don't need to change anything here in the Touchable server. What this is going to do is it's going to route the Touchable server to the virtual MIDI routings which you have created using MIDI Yoke. You don't really need to change this because it's essentially set up to work out of the box, so unless you need to troubleshoot, you should be fine to simply open up the Touchable server and use the factory default settings for the Touchable server. Okay. We've got Touchable Server ready to go, MIDI Yoke is ready to go. Let's load up Ableton where we need to do some of the last of our configurations in order to make Touchable work with our computer. In Ableton, we're going to make a couple quick settings in order to get Touchable to talk to Ableton. Click on Options, scroll down, select Preferences. This is going to open the Preferences dialog box. If it's not already selected, click on MIDI Sync. Now, under the Control Surface section, find the first open pull-down menu, which you don't have a Control Surface currently assigned to. Click that pull-down menu, then scroll down to the bottom and select Touchable Script 1. Now, click the next available pull-down menu and select Touchable Script 2. Now, set the MIDI inputs for each of these Touchable Script control surfaces. Set the input for Touchable Script 1 to in from MIDI Yoke 3, and set the in from touch for Touchable Script 2 to in from MIDI Yoke 4. You're almost there. One more configuration to do. Take a look at the MIDI Ports section. Under MIDI Ports, enable Track and Remote for each of the MIDI buses that you selected in the Touchable Server app. For most purposes, this is going to, me going to mean enabling Track and Remote for in from MIDI Yoke 1 and in from MIDI Yoke 2. If you happen to be setting up a secondary iPad, you'll want to enable track and remote for in from MIDI Yoke 3 and 4. But in most cases, you're only going to be setting up one iPad, and in that case, this will be all that you need to do after you've made these configurations. Close up the Preferences dialog box. Now, we're going to jump into Touchable, make a couple configurations, and start having some fun. So let's jump over to Touchable right now.